live video series. In this lesson, we're going to learn some more of the features in the storyboard and shot list module. You should watch lesson 22 before you watch this lesson, which gives you a basic understanding of this module. In the previous lesson, we created a couple of setups for a scene and attached some shots to them. Up till now, we are using the built-in shot images for the shot types. But suppose you want to import your own images for a specific shot. Select the Edit button on any shot in the storyboard. If the image you want to use is on your hard drive, select the Use Custom Image button. Find the image and select it. The image can be a photo or a graphic image as long as it meets the JPEG or PNG standard file format. The image you select will replace the default storyboard for that shot only. Close the Edit Shot window and refresh the screen by selecting another scene, then going back to the original scene to show the change. Next, we are going to create our own shot type. Gorilla has over 50 shot types to choose from, but in the world of movie making, the shot possibilities are endless. To create your own shot type, select the Add New Shot button. Now, select the green Add button on the right hand side of the screen. Type in a name for the shot. The new shot type is entered into the category Custom Shot Types. Now select the shot type. Notice the shot appears on your storyboard with a no picture type where the image of that shot should be. Now you can select the edit button for this shot. Select the custom image button and then select an image from your hard drive. Refresh the screen. And the new shot type with your own custom image appears on the storyboard. You can then move it to a new sort position and click Save. You can also use an image already loaded into other areas of Gorilla, including elements and logos. Select the Art Gallery button to access all the element images. Select the Select button to use that image for your shot. Another nice feature of the Storyboard module is the ability to add elements to your shots. Go to a shot and select the green Add button on the Elements tab. As it explains here, this will show you only the elements attached to the scene in the Breakdown Sheets module. So, if you really want to be specific, you can select which elements – props, costumes, set dressing, even cast members – that are required to shoot this shot. Once selected, you can then print an Elements in Shot report, which will show you the scene, the setup, the shot, and all the required elements for that shot. Other details you can specify include the equipment and vehicles for the shot. The Storyboard module has certain default lists of equipment and vehicles, but you can add your own if needed. You can also enter detailed camera information for each shot. Lastly, you can enter script and continuity notes. All this information can be printed or saved to a PDF file. That wraps up this lesson. Have a great shoot!